History is that which we have. My now friend, we, give me we, evidence from history that Moses existed. We have the book. Yeah, we have. <laughs> this is called we, circular no, reasoning. It's not. It is. Not. You don't know circular reasoning, evidence, do you? The evidence of the scripture that we have. You don't have many scripts? Bible, you don't have Bible, evidence in history? In Bible, you don't have anything, bro. You don't have anything. It's a evidence. Zero evidence. To this, to this day, we have the Jew. We have the Jew. Nation. You keep saying the Jewish nation, the Jewish nation. Because yes, we know the yeah, Jewish nation is there. From them. But what is the That's evidence that they have provided you? What they is the evidence? Have, they have the Torah. And these roles of a scripture were given to them by God. They still have was it, them. Was it maintained? You was Without change? Was Where is the evidence for that? He is that the book is preserved. We believe they were okay. maintained. Can I tell you something? Because there is no manuscript evidence. So what you're just saying is hot air. No. I'm sorry. Listen, listen. I listen to you. Now you listen to me. What you're saying is just basically hot air. There's nothing. No, you stand on no evidence whatsoever. If you don't have manuscript evidence, if you don't have the oral tradition, even no. So I let you speak. Hello. I let you speak. So many evidence. I let you speak. Now, so if, if you wanted to be we a shouting match like earlier, have many manuscript. So bring it then. Many, I don't bring, have it. You don't carry manuscript. Like no, no, no. Bring the evidence of the manuscript. Yeah. I didn't ask for the physical okay. evidence. What is it called? Well, where it is? I will, Which library I will, you find it? Okay, I will give you yes. what I said. I will come back to you next Sunday. I will bring the evidence. So you actually yes, have evidence. How old is it? Yes, How old is the manuscript? You ask me a question. Let me go make a research. No, no, you said you have it. I, I will come back. Yes. And I know we have thousands of manuscript evidence. Yes. After a thousand our, years of Moses. Yes. We have After thousand, thousand years of Moses. That's fine. We have so many, you have a gap of still thousand have, years. Sorry. We Doesn't have, matter. We have many evidence. Manuscript, manuscript as a Christian, as a Jew, that are there. Well I don't think you have anything do, from within do. a thousand years of Moses. We, do, we, we have do. zero manuscripts. We do. You in keep fact, saying you do, but you in, don't know it. In fact, the history told how God wrote the laws, the laws to the Jew themselves, and then as the stone were broken, Moses himself wrote those laws again. And to this day, the Jew have those laws, and these the laws you claim you have, but you don't have them in the Quran. Now don't change it in the Quran now. The question is for you. It's very important. The question is to you. It's very important. Because now, you claim, now you have no evidence. You now you're going claim, to the Quran. You claim, very, that's you a very claim, nice, no, you, very nice tactic you, they have. No, you claim to believe what the previous scriptures. Yeah. And we have the laws, but we can't find those laws on your book. So making can I respond claim, to that? Making a claim does not. By the way, why are you shouting? Why are you shouting? Sorry. You know, earlier you had a shouting match. You didn't achieve anything. No, I don't away think. I don't think. You know, running away is, is a tactic which Christians use. No, we don't. Okay. We don't need to. See, we don't need to shout. There's one point Let's calm I have down. to make. One point I have to make. What point you have to make? The Christian did not go against the. The Muslim, the Muslim in your book, you wrote things against us. So which is mean the enemy of the Christian is a is a Muslim. Okay, if you want to, it's not a Christian. If you we you don't see us as enemies. We, then don't shout. We, calm down. We exist. Calm down. No need to shout. So I'm making. I'm making. I'm okay. making. First and foremost. We have already established that within Moses and a thousand years after him, the earliest manuscripts today, and I've studied this, the Dead Sea Scrolls are the earliest you have today. Okay, before that there weren't any. And these were found quite recently, like in the 70s or something, or 60s. No, but no, 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 no. You cannot establish authenticity of a manuscript which are dated thousand years you after see, Moses. You see. You're doing it again. You're not letting me finish. Okay, Let me finish. So if you have a gap of a thousand years, how would you establish this? Without this is no. Like the way that Well, you can you can make allegations, but you have no evidence. Again, the Quran will. Can you please let me finish? Which the Quran Can you let me finish? Which the Can you let me finish without interrupting? Okay, look, I'll walk away if you if you can't have a civil. You can't have a civil discussion. I can walk, can walk away because you're not used to a civil discussion. Yeah. I, I debate you many times. And yes, and you lost every time. No, I never lost. According to you, to your understanding. Go and watch the videos. So, so here yeah, we have established. So they have established as well. No, no manuscripts. What is the next? What is the next evidence you have? You said the Muslims are basically opposed to what you believe from yes. your scripture. Yes. Let me give you one example. You believe in something called a human sacrifice for your atonement. Yes. You can never be saved without a human sacrifice. Is that true? 
This is, okay, I'm going to explain to you again. And this is something you don't understand. You think a human sacrifice... You're doing it again. Just enjoy that it was performed. Can you be saved without one? Hear me. Yes, that's the question. Hear the question and answer the can question. You, can you give me time now? Yeah. You know how it feels now? No, sorry. You know how it feels? When we talk about the human sacrifice, this yes. is the will of God. And this is written from the old scriptures. What will take place in the time to come? He rebuked human sacrifice. No. Yes. Check your Old Testament. We have the scripture. Whatever you have of it. Can you can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Human sacrifice was can, rebuked can, by God. Can you hear me? I'm answering you. Yes. Yeah. Go on. Show when, me where he said when, it's okay. When he asked Abraham, yeah, he had to sacrifice his son Isaac. Yes. What happened? God said he will provide himself. The himself. sacrifice. He will provide himself a sacrifice. In what form? Human or human, animal? Exactly. Because human form. Yes. In the future. So what did Abraham sacrifice? A human or an animal? An animal. animal. Thank you. Yes. So it's not a human sacrifice. He substituted the human can with can an I animal, finish? which can shows us that God doesn't finish? like a human sacrifice. Can I finish? Yes. Can I finish? Yes. Go on. Go on. Finish. So over time, God revealed what will take place, how the Savior will come, and will show me from the scripture. Will sacrifice. Show me from the scripture. Will will suffer for the for the human race, and will save. His people. Show me from the, the Bible. Scripture. Refer. You're just saying it. Jesus saving the, His people. Evidence. His people. Show me from the Scripture so, that God said He will provide a human sacrifice for the atonement of sins. Because that was my question. He, he said He will suffer for our iniquities. That wasn't my question. And He will suffer. You see, that is a problem. He's not answering the question. I'm now. answering your question. Okay, what was my question? I'm giving you a reference. What was my question? Do you remember my question? Exactly. My question Let was. Can you be saved without a human sacrifice? That was my question. That will come to you. It doesn't make sense. But it makes sense to God. That's the. It thing. makes sense to God. To God. Exactly. God Himself rebuked it. He did not rebuke. You should read the Old Testament again. If, if you, the sacrifice performed by man to God, that is a rebuke because that's an abomination before God. So show me but where He says He approves of it. God, when He said, He will suffer for the sins of his people. Who will suffer? God will suffer. God will suffer by his own creation. That gets even worse. First it is human sacrifice and now it is God suffering. So you have, you have moved the goalpost from human to God himself now. You're just making it even worse for yourself. God will suffer by his own creation and die by his own creation. I'm sorry to say, but that is not what God is, not at least my God. My God, That's what I say. We my God, the one God. Yeah, you're right. Your my God, God doesn't die. Your God by is his own. Let alone by his own Your God is a pagan. Now you're making fun. We don't know now him. Now you're making fun. We don't know his name is Allah. Yes. The God of Israel. What's it? I'm the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jesus. Uh, what was his name? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. What was his name? That's why he said. What was his name? And he chose only one nation, Israel. And he said, Israel will be the light to all nations. So light will come to other nations. Are you an Israelite? No, I'm a Christian. So you're not one. You're one of the Gentiles that he calls dogs in the Bible. No, he doesn't call us dogs. Yes, he does. He in Matthew 15. He doesn't call us dogs. I do not he, cast the bread he, of the children he, to the dogs. He, Who are the dogs? He was giving, the non-Jews. He was giving an analogy. It doesn't mean he was calling the non-believers as uh, the dogs. So what are the dogs saying? Like in a house, food is important. Yes. When the, the food is cooked, those who are to be served first is the children of the house. Yes. So the dog after that they can feed. And who is the dog so there? He was making the analogy. Yes. Who is the dog there? So that answer that Jesus the miracles was given to Israel. Yeah. So the, the children are the Israelites. I agree. Who are the dogs? Say it. So Why are you embarrassed? Listen, I'm explaining to you. Who are the dogs? You don't. You, the Gentiles, like you. Talk. It's not like the Quran. It is. It's not like the Quran. Yeah, the Quran doesn't you make believe. fun of. You believe. The Quran doesn't so call the, anyone dogs like believe, the way you, your you Bible believe, does. You believe. You believe in our book. Why should I believe in your book? We are it's the been first, corrupted. Who are we are the we first? We don't believe in corrupted books. I'm sorry. Believers. We are the first believers. Who have the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? Well, how can you be the first but believers? Then, you are the Christians. You came later on. But then I thought it was the Jews earlier. But then you will call the Jew and the Christian the non-believers. It's because we don't believe the same God. We don't believe in Allah. That's why we are called the Kafir. 
the kufa. By the way, that's why. That's first and foremost, so your listen, God is your God. Listen, listen, our God is our listen. God. In the Quran, God is the one who created in the Quran, in the, in the, in the Quran, earth, Allah calls the Jews God, and the Christians. Your, your God is I know, not the God. I know you're triggered Abraham. because your your Jesus calls you dogs. No, I know you're triggered. I'm, I'm explaining to you. But I'm explaining to you. making the analogy. Yes. Because since in the land of the living, yes. It was only in the land of Israel who God the Creator performed miracles. And miracles, He performed them through His prophet. He was a way for Him to prove He's the true God. Why call it dogs then? He was the, that's what I'm saying to you. This woman who came out of Israel yes. to come and seek the healing. Yes. So Jesus was, refer, was making this analogy to explain to her that the food, He don't take the food of the children, and give them to the dogs. It okay. was an analogy. So who are the children so in the analogy? Proving, yes. He was proving. You're repeating yourself. No, he was proving. You're repeating yourself. He was proving okay. that what is precious God has given is was given first for the Israelite. Yes. Israel. Yes. Yeah. For the children. The Bani Israel. Israel. Yes. The Israel. Yes. And then. And the, the leftover. Other nation. The leftover. That's what. Will uh, get that after. Who are the leftovers? The no, no. was given. In the analogy. Why, in the analogy. Yes. Who are the people who get the leftover? Non-believers, of course, non-believers. Non-believers? Yes. You mean the Gentiles? The, the Gentiles, exactly. Good. And what did the analogy claim that these Gentiles were called? No, it, it's an analogy. What does it call them? It does not mean it's a, it, what it was. It was represented. Say it, say the word. What did he call them? Can you, yeah, what did he call them? I've been listening to you all this time. I'm saying to you. What, it, what does he call them? He was referencing how important that food was to For the home. children. Yes. To the, the children. He keeps saying the children, but the he doesn't children. say the other bit. Okay, the so yeah. that's what I'm explaining to you. Who are but the ones who are left over? Them, you will, these who did not know. Say Gentiles. Believe, these we Gentiles, didn't know yes. and believe to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. They needed now to come and believe. No, what did he call so them? They be partakers. What did he call them? Of this What did he call them? Food. Say, food. say it. What did he call them? You see, the reason he's embarrassed to call them dogs, which is what his Jesus called them. That's I asked right. him how many no. times? How many times did I ask him? What did he call them? He wouldn't answer because he knows that he can never be a dog. We talked about He can it. never be a dog. He's a human being. When he even. Even, you know, even a person like him wouldn't call other people dogs because he knows this is the most yeah, disrespectful thing. It How can someone who is a role model, wait, 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 wait. That's what makes I'm not saying literally, I'm saying metaphorically. You are, you are taking even it. metaphorically is an insult. You, you are, that's, can you, that's why can you be a dog metaphorically? I have to explain you the scripture for you. Can you be a dog metaphorically? Sorry. <laughs> For me, you see, even that is embarrassed listen, because listen, he knows it. Listen, listen, I've been listen, listening to you, and you talk a lot, but you don't answer questions. I'm answering. You evade questions. Yes, yes, yes you that do. Example. Okay, so answer. That example, what were they called? He called dogs. Why? Yes. He referred Why? them. No, he, Why? He did not call the person as being dog. But he referenced the importance that food. He didn't call the person. Food is important. I think that is a children. big lie on your part. Listen, he listen. says, "I do not give the bread he of the children to the dogs." To so it was the he person. He was explain, explain. It was it was referencing the importance. Oh, matter how you look at it, it's food embarrassing. Food is important to the children. Which yes. children? That children, yeah, the food of the children that need to eat in the house. You don't just give them straight away. By the way, it wasn't about food, so you're he, wrong there. He, he, it was about knowledge. Because it's Jesus was wait, wait, wait. Jesus the was teaching them. Was about the wait, food. I let you talk. Now be quiet. Jesus was you, teaching them. You don't understand our scripture. You're doing it again. You're interrupting. You, you are interrupting again. If you I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. Now you be quiet. Now you be quiet. Now let me talk. Jesus was teaching the children of Israel, his disciples. Yes? And this woman, the Canaanite woman, comes and interrupts them. Yes? She says, Save my child. Yes? She kept saying this. Jesus ignores her for the first three times. And then eventually, the disciples, they nudge Jesus to say something to her that she will go away. So they were, what was Jesus doing? He wasn't distributing food, which is what he was saying all this time. He doesn't even understand his own Bible. Jesus was teaching them. What the food here represents is the knowledge. That's why Jesus in the Bible in another place says, I do not give the, the food of the children to the dogs in, in, in the next verse, because it's do not give the knowledge which was meant for the children of Israel to the ones who are Gentiles. So the children here, wait, 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 you'll have your turn. The children here are the Bani Israel, the children of Israel. Yes? Who are the dogs here? The dogs are everybody else. 
So if you were there, you would be known as a dog, no, according no, to Jesus. No, 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 no. Whether you shake your head or not, yeah. at that point in time, you, you everyone still, other than these children of Israel are the dogs. And it was never you about the food. It was never about the food, literally. You yes, to you. I'm going to answer you again. Hashim, don't be harsh. I'm saying to can you, you, can you please? this woman don't was shout. asking for miracles. Listen, listen, my she friend. She was my friend. asking yes. for miracles. Listen, yes. my friend. To Jesus, listen. to heal her daughter, yeah? Okay. Now, Jesus was saying. It wasn't saying, about food. Do you agree? That's what I'm saying to you. Good. Now, he was saying, now he has to teach. He teach. When he was teaching, he said, you see, the miracle that you're asking is like a it's a food. It's not a food. A miracle is not food. That's why I, Unless the food involves G, miracles. Why you don't you understand? Because okay. I understand I, clearly you, that it's they were called swans and Assalamu alaikum. My name is Vegard and I'm a Norwegian Muslim convert. I'm working with the Dawah organization Islamnet to establish the Deen of Allah here in Norway. We give Dawah and present Islam to the Norwegian people. Isn't that great? To be more efficient in our Dawah, we are establishing a first of its kind Masjid and Dawah Center, where we will have Islamic programs, classes, lectures and education for non-Muslims. I am so grateful to Allah for having guided me to Islam. Sadly, I am the only Muslim in my family. It hurts me that my parents haven't accepted Islam yet, and I ask Allah to guide them. But it also gives me a special drive to work for the establishment of Islam. I don't want anyone to miss the chance of becoming Muslim. Maybe my mom and dad become Muslim one day thanks to you. If we can establish this center, I could bring my parents to come and learn about Islam in our native language, which is a challenge today with the mosque here speaking Somali, Arabic and Urdu. The Prophet وسلم, said that the Muslims are like one body. If you can feel my pain, would you please help me relieve it? You are now my new family. Click the link and donate to establish this masjid and share in the reward for the message of Islam reaching the corners of Norway.